After the Dieselgate scandal, and the fact they're still dragging on, I'm kind of over the Volkswagen group. I do like Audi. I like that they're going EV only by 2030. But I've got a little bit of a guilty pleasure that I have to share with you, which is this. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. Thank you for tuning in. It's great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Today's been a very interesting day because we've seen numbers from China, from Europe. Wow. Holy smokes. I mean, there's some of these European sales numbers, but also the Japanese car sales numbers, uh, the disruption happening in China. It's ballistic. Now, Volkswagen are one of the big players involved here, and they're doing a bit better than their Japanese counterparts. Well, not a bit. They're doing a lot better. This new EV from Volkswagen is... Well, it appeals to my weirdly like data-driven side. Station wagons are just a lot more practical than SUVs. I mean, really, people who buy an SUV, some people need them, right? Some people do. That is true. But what would you say? 10%? Maybe 5%? The majority of people who buy an SUV will never, ever go off-road. They might drive down a gravel road and think, oh, I'm driving an SUV on my gravel road today. Isn't this a great use of my... My four-wheel drive SUV, but you don't need an SUV to drive on a gravel road. Yeah, maybe having a dual motor car, that's cool, you know, but this can have that. It, this will have that feature, in fact. And it's a very practical station wagon. Now, moving away from an SUV is even more logical when it comes to an electric vehicle because your range is so drastically affected by things like bigger wheels. Bigger wheels, much less range. Other things aerodynamics is so important. If you jack the car up, have a big front face on it, or a bigger front face, then your aerodynamics will suck. And that's why I love station wagons and vans, actually. Vans are great too. Volkswagen's new ID7 is, well, it's a station wagon. And you have to admit, it is the best looking EV Volkswagen have designed so far. The ID4, the ID3, do you really think they look good? Like most people think they just look like devices. They look utilitarian, kind of, but not really in a good way. I mean, they're not bad. They're just sort of not great. A lot of people say the same thing about the Model Y and the Model 3, I guess. That's true. But that said, the update, I think, is going to drastically improve the looks of the Model 3 and the Model Y. So that'll change very soon, probably before this car comes out too. However... This ID7 is what was once known as the Volkswagen ID Vision concept, spelled V I Z Z I O N. Not sure why they spelled it that way, but anyway. It's called the Space Vision. And well, I've got to say, I love it. I think it looks fantastic, it's practical, to it's wagon, it's electric, it's low, it doesn't have massive wheels, just ticks so many boxes. The only thing I don't love so much is it's using the MEB platform. I was really, really looking forward to Volkswagen bringing out their new Trinity platform. That was the project of this previous CEO that's been basically canceled now. Uh, the company are just going, no, 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 we'll stick with MEB. We'll just try and improve MEB. But MEB is quite heavy. I just think they could do better. But this is still a really interesting car. I think it'll be very popular in Europe, even though Europe, you know, people do prefer smaller cars they love wagons as well so this is pretty much the new volkswagen passat right basically basically mechanically it should be similar to the sedan which i don't know if volkswagen will call it passat they may however the power is 282 horsepower from a single motor which is 210 kilowatt and volkswagen say they're going to now focus on rear wheel drive right they're going to change their vehicles in the future to be more rear-wheel drive based because there are advantages to being a rear-wheel drive EV versus front-wheel drive. In fact, there's quite a few advantages and I talked about those in a video. Volkswagen themselves even outlined some of the advantages themselves of it being rear-wheel drive versus front-wheel drive. So there should be a rear-wheel drive version of this car plus an all-wheel drive, one motor in the back, one motor in the front. Battery pack. Well, it should be the same as the ID7. The ID7 is technically what the Passat is, so it's the sedan version of this, and it will have a 77 kilowatt hour battery pack and an 86 kilowatt hour pack. 
with charging at a pretty good speed, which is 200 kilowatt. To give you an idea of the size, it's gonna be pretty big. It looks a little bit longer than the sedan, and the sedan is already big in itself. It's 195.3 inches long. That's 4,961 millimeters, so it's basically a size up from a Tesla Model Y. It's a big car. It doesn't look big, though. That's one thing I like about it. The wheelbase will probably be the same, which means the wheelbase would be 116.8 inches, which is 2,986 millimeters. That should give it a fair bit of space inside. It should be quite roomy. So what's the range going to be? Well, the Volkswagen ID7 says it'll have 435 miles of range, which is 700 kilometers using the bigger battery pack. Now, I don't know if that's this pack. I don't think it's likely Volkswagen going to get 700 kilometers of range from an 86 kilowatt hour battery pack in a car this size. They would have to drastically improve the efficiency of their EVs, drastically lower the weight of their EVs, I can't see that happening, but who knows? Maybe they have some amazing technology that no one knows about yet. It's possible. Speaking of cargo capacity, the practical side of me, this is one thing I love about the Tesla Model Y. It's got a massive boot, and Tesla are given an, an enormous amount of credit by European reviewers and critics by saying uh, the interior size of the Model Y is incredibly impressive versus the exterior size. They're doing the best at maximizing interior space of any car company on the planet. I've read that numerous times in different reviews, so that's one cool thing. This should have really good space too, though, because the sedan version has a surprisingly large 532 liters of space. That's about 19 cubic feet. So I'm going to guess it'll have around about 600, maybe 650 liters of interior space, which might be around 21 cubic feet of interior space. That'd be pretty good. And we'll put it on par in terms of boot space with a Tesla Model Y. So when is it coming out? Well, no one knows for sure. Volkswagen haven't confirmed. Maybe they don't know. But it sounds like approximately people are thinking it'll be 2025. So around two years from now. Got a little ways to go. Hopefully it comes sooner because I really like it. And I think that the, this is the kind of car that would do really, really well for the company. And it might actually get a few people saying, you know what? Yeah, I don't really need an SUV. This has got plenty of interior space and it makes a lot more sense. I think it does. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.